Dr. Wallach is back, and I'm telling you, he is something else. I had him lay his, his hands on my Bible yesterday and vow that everything he says is truth, and you did. You want to do, do yes, it again? Yes, both hands, not one, both This hands. is how I'm going to start the program, okay. that <laughs> you're absolutely going to tell me the truth and nothing but the truth. So, so help, help me, God. <laughs> help you, God. You know, uh, we're talking about health, nutrition, and how many people he's helped. Andrew Young, the mayor, former mayor. And also, the, of, he was uh, the ambassador to the United Nations under Jimmy right. Carter. Right, and you helped him with his knees where he didn't he lose. He canceled his double knee replacement surgery. Creflo Dollar, his daughter, his daughter is now asthma. asthma free. She's free from yeah, asthma. For 10 years, yeah. Because of you. Yes, sir. And other well, people you've well, helped. Actually, it's God's. Of course, it's God. the Lord, but he yeah. used you. You're yes. his instrument. And through how? What did you do to these people? How, how did you help uh, Andrew Young, and how did you help Creflo's daughter and okay, well, all both, the people you're helping? Well, both arthritis, uh, Pastor Benny, and asthma are both nutritional deficiency diseases. Doctors will tell you that arthritis is genetic, it's in your family, and if they can't find anybody in your family who has it, doesn't your dog have arthritis? They're always looking for <laughs> some way to, you know, associate with your family. But um, arthritis, 95% is due to just simple mineral deficiencies. That's osteopenia, osteoporosis, osteoarthritis, degenerative arthritis, bone-to-bone -bone arthritis, all mineral deficiencies. Rheumatoid arthritis is a simple infection with a bug called mycoplasma. I can cure that disease, rheumatoid arthritis, in two weeks with an antibiotic called minocycline. I'll kill that bug, then it'll take several months, maybe two months, to rebuild all the damage. That How come did. all the doctors don't say what you're saying? Because they'll only make $300 if they cure you. If they treat you, they make $750,000 over 25 years. Why would they want to make $300 when they can make $750,000? Because there's no law requiring them to cure you when there's a cure available. So they give you medication? Yes, sir. Unfortunately, that's the truth. Now, as you say, individually, they may be wonderful people, but the system captures them. If they don't do what the system says to do, they kick them out and say, I've gone to school all these years. Why would I go against the system? And so that's part of the problem. <clears throat> and so people have to actually take some control here of their own destiny, their health, and their faith. And that's, I think, what we need to mm -hmm. decide in 2014, this year, to take charge of our own health. Yes, sir. And do it right. Yes, and that'll make the difference. And that's what, that's what Andrew Young did. He canceled a double knee replacement surgery. He canceled it. I mean, but he, he gave scheduled. you a chance to... Yeah. He, he gave me 90 days. He said, I'll, I'll do your thing for 90 days. And what did you do? What did, how did you help him? Well, I gave him the basic 90 essential nutrients, which we all need. You can't guarantee you're going to get it from your food, no matter how people say, I eat well, but that's not enough. So you gave him 90, 9, 0. Essential nutrients, 16 okay. minerals, 16 vitamins, 12 essential amino acids, 3 essential fatty acids. And then I gave him what we call the secret sauce that's designed to support and promote repair of cartilage, ligaments, tendons, connective tissue, all the stuff that makes up the joints of your knees and mm -hmm. your hip and your shoulder and the disc between your vertebrae. And even in July, I thought this was fascinating, even in July of 2002, Harvard Medical School came out, published in the New England Journal of Medicine, and said joint replacement is useless, is worthless. Wow. Really? They yes. actually said that? Oh, yes, sir. And four years later, in uh, the, the uh, Journal of the American Medical Association, they came out and said, don't waste your time doing back surgery for low back pain and sciatica. That was Harvard again, the Journal of the American Medical Association. Why do they keep changing their minds? Well, because they did it, what's called a meta-study. They looked at 300,000 people from all over the earth that had joint replacements and back surgeries. And in every case, over a long time, it never worked. Okay, now you also talked about dementia. That yes, sir. One, one more time, 65% of... Well, first of all, you have to understand... Because he had said that before we, we began taping the program. Yes, well, first of all, people have to understand, Pastor Benny, that, that Alzheimer's is a physician-caused disease. Now, there's four different dementias, vascular doc, dementia. Doc, repeat that, really. Physi Alzheimer's disease is a physician-caused disease. Because? Okay, well, Alzheimer's disease is a going away the white matter of the brain, the myelin. The naked nerve fibers all tangle up, and they short circuit and give you what's called Alzheimer's disease. Well, this myelin is 100% cholesterol. So when you go on a cholesterol-restricted diet, and then you make it worse by taking a cholesterol-lowering drug, it's kind of like saying, stay out of the sun, do not eat any egg yolks, do not take any vitamins and minerals, put sunblocker on, wear big brim hats and gloves and long sleeve shirts in the moonlight so you don't get skin cancer, 
You're not going to give it. Right now, you know the, the most terrible disease raging in young people in the industrialized world, including America? Is, is rickets. It's a vitamin D3 deficiency. We learned that 200 years ago. Suddenly now it's, it's coming back in America and Europe because everybody's following the doctor's advice of staying out of the sun. Don't take vitamin yeah, D3. Yeah, because they're afraid to get, you know, skin cancer. Yeah. Well, if you do everything right, you won't. Like what? Do you like take, what? Take right. all your nutrients. You have to supplement with all. Ninety. So you can lay in the sun all you want. Well, I wouldn't say all you want. You don't want to get burnt. Oh, of course. You but I mean, choose. still, you can lay in the sun yeah. without the fear. Yes, of cancer. Of getting cancer if you do what? Okay, supplement probably. For, for instance, in Australia, which has the highest rate of skin cancer because they have no ozone layer there. Right. It's a big hole. They have the highest rate of skin cancer. By taking one mineral, you can reduce your risk of skin cancer by sixty percent just by taking one mineral. That's amazing. Yeah. But doctors don't pay attention to that because they're more interested in the surgery and the chemotherapy and the radiation, that kind of stuff. And the Alzheimer's. Well, Alzheimer's disease is one of but, four dementias. Okay. The most common one is called vascular dementia, which is where you get the blood um, obstructed to your brain. Your arteries get clogged in your brain, just like the same thing that clogs mm -hmm. your arteries in your heart and your kidneys. Eating uh, free radicals, fried foods, processed meats, oils, meat cooked too well done, that kind of stuff. I, I actually saw this on a program this morning where it said fried foods actually don't, you know, they, they don't help you with that. Mm -hmm. they, they actually can cause that. That's right. Clogs your arteries. It's not cholesterol. It's fried foods. No, with the, with with the dementia. dementia. Yeah. That's right. And then you have what's called Korsakoff syndrome, which looks like Alzheimer's disease, but it was actually caused by a deficiency of a single vitamin it was discovered by a Japanese naval surgeon in the late 1700s. Mm. You take this one vitamin, it goes away. And I've cured people who were designated as having Alzheimer's disease, terminal Alzheimer's disease, for eight years, Pastor Benny. My goodness. And in one week's time, they get dressed, they walk out perfectly normal after just one week of being on these supplements because they had course One syndrome. week. One week, yes, sir. And these are people who are unconscious, totally unresponsive. And they had to be fed through the G-tube, these vitamins. In one week, they get dressed, get up, and walk out perfectly normal. And then there's wernicke korsakoffs which is MS, multiple sclerosis, and this vitamin deficiency. And then there's Alzheimer's disease, which is a cholesterol deficiency, which is a physician-caused disease. But you said 65% can be reversed. Well, 60, you said that earlier. Vascular dementia, Korsakoff syndrome, wernicke korsakoff syndrome, very rapidly reversed. Alzheimer's disease takes longer, might take six months to a year depending on how much damage is in mm. there. In the earliest of stages, it can happen fairly quickly. And of course, but that's you can reverse it though. It has been reversed, yes. I mean, not 100% of the well, yeah, time. Yeah, of course, but, but I mean, it, it's some reversed anyway. Yes, yes, yes. And how do you do that? With the same, these minerals you, and you nutrients? Have to stop, you have to stop the ongoing damage, which means you have to start eating six to 10 eggs a day, poached with soft yolks. You have to stay away from all the things that cause free radical And that does not food. harm you to take that many, to eat that many eggs. There was actually a study, not a study, I shouldn't say that, there was actually a case report reported out of Harvard Medical School. It was the New England Journal of Medicine. Came out, I use this in my lecture a lot of times. The doctor came out and he had to rerun this guy's cholesterol. It was perfectly normal. And he says, well, what are you, you're 75, 80 years old. How, what do you attribute your, every one of your numbers in your blood test is normal. What do you attribute it to? He said, I eat 25 eggs a day. He said, what? I eat 25 <laughs> eggs a day. I've been eating 25 eggs a day for 30 years. This is published in the New England General of Medicine. This guy is 25. So I always tell wow. my patients, Pastor Benny, I want you to eat 10 to 12 eggs a day. You can eat 25 if you want to, but don't eat any less than 10 to 12. Really? That's and that will help them? It'll help you get rid of Alzheimer's disease, help you prevent getting Alzheimer's disease. I've never heard that. That's amazing. Heart disease. Let's talk about that. There's Prevention. Single, Pastor Benny, there's not a single heart disease that's caused by elevated blood cholesterol or too much bad cholesterol. You said that yesterday. That was quite powerful. That's correct. Well, let's see. The most common heart disease is congestive heart failure caused by deficiency of a single vitamin. There's a pastor in Southside Chicago. He was on heart transplant list for three years. One week's time on this program, his doctors, his cardiologist, declared him cured and took him off a 27 prescription and, drug. Well, wait, and you put him on your program? Yes, sir. For a week? For a week. And you fixed him up? Yes, sir. And it was his doctors that took him yeah, off. Yeah, I understand medication, that. Not me. His own doctor said you're, you're, you're cured. You're fine now. That's right. What did you? What, how, how did I gave you? Gave him the 90 him? essential nutrients. Plus, I gave him extra that one vitamin that causes congestive heart. There's a vitamin deficiency that causes congestive heart failure. What is that? Can you tell me? Yes, sir. I will because you asked me because you're an agent of God. Thank you, sir. Please tell me. Thiamine, vitamin B1 deficiency causes congestive heart failure. Really? It's that simple. 
Why don't they tell us that? Well, because a doctor won't make any money. if he, He'll make $30 for an office call if he tells you that. But if he puts you on the heart transplant list, Pastor Benny, he makes a quarter of a million dollars. Dear God, I had a problem one time with my heart when it was skipping, and this doctor wanted to operate and, and electrocute my heart and scare the lights out of me. I said, no, man, I'm, 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 I'm out of here, and I left. And that's why you're still alive. Praise God. Because I went to a doctor like you, and I said, hey, doc, they want to do all this stuff, and I don't want it. And the side effects with the, med with the meds they were going to put, put me on us would be the worst. Mm. He put me on some nutrients and vitamins and supplements and fixed me up. Well, did the doctor diagnose you with atrial fibrillation? Is that yeah, right? he did. Well, it's not a heart problem. Well, he told me it was, but no, anyway. It's not true. He said if it wasn't one part of the heart, I would actually drop dead. No, sir. You know, some of them are he, not really very positive. They just tell you, well, you got this. Well, he's a used car salesman. You're going to die if this happens. You're going <laughs> to die if this happens. Then you got to take these medications, and here's all the side effects that go along. And, and I said, well, what if, you know, the side effects? Well, we just don't know. You have to, t I said, forget it. Well, atrial fibrillation is actually a back problem, squeezing nerves that control your Now, let's uh, stop. Dog, dog. Yes, sir. A back problem. Yes, sir. <laughs> After all you, those years, somebody but, tells me that. Okay. I you had a back problem, too. I did. I evil. did because I, well, you're not I was talking in a, about this. I, I was in a plane back. crash. I was well, in a plane again. crash back in 83. Suzanne and I were in, in a Cessna, single engine. Mm -hmm. It crashed. And when I came out of the, of the plane, my lower back just, mm -hmm. if you look on the x-ray, it looks like a little curve. Mm -hmm. And they told me that every so often I have to like massage it or whatever. And how much time later did you get the atrial fibrillation? Uh, not not long after that. Well, there you go. See, it's a back problem that causes that. Well, how do you fix it? Well, well not, mine, mine is gone, though. Yeah, you take the nutrients, repair the back, and it goes away. And yeah. I did both. Yeah, perfect. Because the, but, but I was not connecting the back with it. But you have to because that's what causes it. I'm glad I, I, I have you on the program. So... A heart disease. Okay, now there's four heart diseases. Congestive heart failure is the number one cause of death in adults in America. It's okay. A deficiency of a single vitamin, thiamine, vitamin B1. And then there's cardiomyopathy heart disease, causes sudden heart death. You just walk along, drop dead. You see this in young athletes all the time. Yes. Okay. A track star, a basketball player. What causes that? That's a deficiency of a single mineral. I actually did 1,700 autopsies on kids under the age of 10 that actually died of that disease. Cardiomyopathy, heart disease. Because of one mineral? A deficiency of a single mineral, yes, sir. And? Um, now, I could ask you what, 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 what it is, but I won't. Go well. ahead. <laughs> Go ahead, because I want to keep talking. So if, keep we give those, if we give all 90 cents of nutrients to all our kids, and we actually have a sports drink with 100 nutrients, in, including that mineral, we will never have another young athlete drop dead from a sudden heart death. And it's all in your book, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then the, the next one. Um, is actually called um, arteriosclerosis, where you get clogging of the arteries. That's not caused by cholesterol. It's caused by eating fried foods and processed meats and oils and that kind of stuff. So fried foods and all that really are bad for yes, you, sir, as they very say. Bad. Okay. And then um, you get an omega-3 essential fatty acid deficiency. I actually sued the FDA over this and went and prevailed in federal court to be able to you say this. You sued them? Eight times, and I won. Really? Wow. And uh, the one that actually caused, like, when you get a coronary thrombosis, you get a blood clot in a coronary artery, mm. that's caused by a deficiency of omega-3s. That's not genetic. It's caused by deficiency. What's the best source of, of omega-3? Well, if you eat salmon, you know, oily fish. But a good. whole lot of salmon, I bet. No, not really, not that much. You only need uh, one gram a day, 1,000 milligrams a day. You told me on the program yesterday that eating healthy is not enough. That's not enough, sir. Because you have to have the supplements. That's correct. Why? That's, well, you, you need... See, there's no insurance policy that will actually prevent or cure disease. The only insurance policy you have is to take the 90 essential nutrients in optimal amounts because you can't guarantee you're going to get it from the food, no matter how well you eat. That's why billionaires, their average lifespan is only 66. Really? Yes. They all die young. That's right, because they eat well. <laughs> they have the very most expensive doctors who say, now, don't you take vitamins and minerals. That will screw up our medicine. My dear mother has, has diabetes, and I nearly had an argument with her doctor a few days back because he will not let her take some vitamins because he says Fire the it, go, it goes against the medicines and it can, not, it can harm her, blah, 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 all this stuff. You, you're telling me to just fire the guy. Fire the doctor. Yes, sir. I'm glad you're raw like that. 
You're really honest and blunt right fire to the, the point. Doctor. Okay. Fire the doctor, and um, basically, you know, the phone book is full of hungry doctors, and you say, look, my mother is 80-something years old. She's got uh, diabetes, and I've just fired a doctor who says he won't let me give her vitamins and minerals. You will let me give her vitamins and minerals? No, you're fired. You're fired. You're fired. Yes, I'll, I, I encourage you to give her vitamins. Okay, I want you to t treat my mother. And so you have to go through. Isn't it funny, Pastor Benny, people get three bids and three quotes when they're putting a roof on their house. Whatever their doctor says, they keep doing over and over and over, and they get sicker. And sicker. Well, because they have authority in their eyes. Mm. Doctors have authority because of the title, doctor, whatever. Now, Dr. Death. <laughs> <laughs> Not all of them, though. Doc, how about diabetes? It diabetes. can be reversed, yes, even in an old person, like my mom. I don't care if you're 170 years old. If your heart is still pumping, type 2 diabetes is reversible. It's a and hers is type 2, so easy. how do you reverse it? Well, again, she gets the 90 essential nutrients, and she gets the secret sauce, which are two minerals that have been proven. Now, he's not going to tell us what the secret sauce is, I suppose, but it's fine. Well, I, the government won't let me tell you that. Okay. So I have to say this will support and promote healthy metabolism of carbohydrates. At the cells. end of the program, <laughs> we will tell you how you can get this stuff. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. And so you take the secret sauce for the 90 essential nutrients, and it all goes away. This, this was 1957. We knew this in animals. We knew it for many years before that, but it was proven. <clears throat> and then the University of Vancouver up in Canada repeated it in humans and said, yeah, it's true. This is back in the 60s. Now, why don't doctors do that? Again, because why would they tell you to take these nutrients, which are God's tools, God's stuff, I call it. Why would they tell you to do that? And they'd make 30, 60, 80, 100 dollars for office calls when they can treat you for 25 years for diabetes and then you go blind and you get your feet cut off and have heart disease and all this kind of stuff is complications of the disease and so they've created a customer for life kind of thing. Can't have they really found the cure for cancer in this world? Yes sir. They have? Yes sir. And why don't they talk about it? Well again because the there's no principle. money in it. Okay. That's right. There's no money in it. And there are more people dying with cancer today? Yes sir then died even two and three years ago. That's correct. That's what I'm hearing. Yes. Is that true? That's yeah. That's correct. Well, it used to be when you and I were boys, it was like one out of ten got cancer. Today, it's one out of two. That's actual government <sighs> statistics. Wow. And because of what? Well, to me, one of the most interesting things was um, it was a big study that came out of the University of South Carolina in 1998. And they looked at a large group of women. It was part of the nurses' health study, 90,000 nurses over 20 years. And they had one little piece of how the women cooked. And they said women who cook their meat, like roast beef, if they cooked it very well done, which doctors encourage you to do so you don't get mm. salmonella and E. coli and stuff like this. They say, cook your meat very well done. Well, women who cook their meat very well done increase the risk of breast cancer by 462%. Pastor Benny, I don't even know what that means. Because how much more is there than 100 percent? You know, but if you cook mm. your meat medium rare, you reduce your risk of breast cancer by 462 percent. But if you cook your meat very well done, you increase your risk. You of breast told cancer. me that the last time, yeah. Yes, sir. And so that that's very fascinating. And I thought it was the the opposite mm. that if you eat rare meat, it actually is not as good for you. But anyways, well, it is. It's very good for you because it doesn't kill you. Learning new new things from yes, you, Doc. I like it. Well, again, you have to go back. And you just look at, at, at the time when Jesus was alive. And they, they were very simple people who believed in God. And they were the ones who were rewarded. The ones who complicate things and, and give the responsibility to somebody else. That's why I always say they bet on the wrong horse. They bet on doctors. Hey, Doc, listen. Look at this yes. camera yes, and sir. tell somebody who's sick. What must they do in 2014 to reverse their disease? Well, they need to start getting bids when a doctor tells you to do something. Go to 14 different doctors and ask them what they would do, how much they're going to charge, and all that kind of stuff, especially if you've lost your insurance, right? Then what you want to do is take all 90 essential nutrients, so you're giving your body all the raw materials it needs to maintain itself. Stay away from all the terrible things, fried foods, processed meats, you know, deli slices, sandwich meats. Stay away from oils, margins, mayonnaise, salad dressings, cooking oils. If you eat canned fish, it's fine, but eat them. Uh, packed in water, mustard, tomato sauce, not oil. Stay away from gluten, no wheat, barley, rye, and oats. Stay away from that stuff. It's all inflammatory. It, it causes clogs your arteries, causes cancer. And then... The gluten. Yes, sir. Is, it actually Very can bad. cause cancer. Directly and indirectly. And clog the arteries. Yes, sir. Wow. 
and contribute to Alzheimer's and contribute to many, and diabetes, many other diseases. Keep birth talking e to them, Doc. It, They're listening to you. It, it, it contributes to birth defects. We can eliminate every birth defect in America. We can make America a birth defect free country in, in nine months. If everybody takes the 90 essential nutrients and stays away from gluten, we can eliminate every birth defect. It's that simple. There's not a single genetically transmitted birth defect. And it comes from those nutrients. It comes from lack of nutrients. The embryo requires all. No, those no. Nutrients. I mean, you you can fix it all with nutrients. They're preventable. See, we've done it in the animal industry. And doctors said, "Well, that's in animals. In humans, it's genetic." What nonsense! What absolutely? You nonsense. don't believe that? Well, it's not that I don't believe it. That it's not genetic because often they'll say, "Well, it's 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 because." Whatever, your daddy had it, so you're going to have it. Well, Pastor Benny, is more than a belief, because I'm actually, in one project for the National Institutes of Health, it was called the Center for the Biology of Natural Systems back in the 60s, I did 20,000 autopsies, 10 million chemistries. The book, it, it, it's 1,200 pages. It's, it, it's in the Smithsonian Institute as a national treasure. Oh. Okay? And so this... It is not a belief based on just belief. This is based on facts. This is based on hard facts. I don't think there's another pathologist who's done, in all my projects, it's close to 30,000 autopsies. Truly, 80% of them are over 454 species of animals from all over the world. But that gives me a, an insight. And the other, maybe 13,000, are from humans. You've helped how many people? Oh, millions. When you say millions, how many? Oof, it'd be hard to count because a lot of them don't report to me. They don't tell me. And so, and a lot of them uh, would be somebody who would read the book and follow the instructions in the book, follow the recipe in the book, and they heal themselves. And you, he and you hear from I, them. Well, maybe sometimes they'll send me, I get, I had to carry out a box today. Well, didn't you, <laughs> didn't you have like a little challenge from somebody said, if you don't do, if, oh, if this doesn't work, yes. I'm going to sue you or something. Oh, it was worse than that. He said he would destroy me. Destroy you, yeah. Yes. This guy... Um, owns the, the third largest medical laboratory in America. His name is Jerry Murphy. He allows me to use his name. He had terrible diabetes. And so we're talking about diabetes. He, he had terrible diabetes. And here's a guy who's connected with the top endocrinologists, the top doctors. He's got his fingers on the pulse of the cutting edge of research when it comes to new drugs coming along for diabetes. And he was failing. He was already getting tingling in his feet. He was going to have to have his legs and amputated. And he told you what? He said, well, he, we met in a dark back room of a mom and pop restaurant, kind of like at five in the morning, so nobody could see us, right? Goodness. And he says, I said, why are we in the dark room? I thought, is he gonna kill me? I mean, why, why are we in a dark room? He says, well, because I don't want anybody to see us together. I don't want me to give you any credibility. I said, well, that's fine. Well, he says, well, I'm gonna give you 90 days because our mutual friend here, Rich, says that um, uh, you can get rid of my diabetes in 90 days. I said, I probably can. He said, I'll tell you what, I'll make you a wager, Wallach. I said, okay, I'm, in, I'm up for wagers. <laughs> He says, if you can do it, we'll be best friends. We'll do some stuff together. We'll help a lot of people. Fair enough. I said, what's the other part of the wager? He says, I will destroy you if you fail. He says, and you I helped him. I said, you're on, Jerry. And he, he freaked out. He <laughs> says, no, you better be sure because I'm keeping my word. I will destroy you, Wallach, if you don't perform. In three months' time, all his numbers were normal for the first time in his life. Wow. And now we're best friends, and he has a series of clinics called, well, I won't tell you on the air, but he has a series of clinics which only use our programs. That is amazing. You've been in this for 30-something years. 35 years, yes, sir. And he's 74 years young and is still going strong. And his book, listen, I, you know, of course, he's back because you sweet people so enjoyed this doctor when he was with me a few weeks ago. And if you want to know more about this doctor, and we will tell you more about these, you can go to our website. There's a whole lot more on our website that I'm sure will help you. Okay, Doc, what's in this book? Well, first of all... Dead it, doctors don't lie. That's right. Of course, their average lifespan is 56, according to the what, what, One more time, why did you call it that? Dead doctors don't because lie. Because their average lifespan is 56, <laughs> Okay. according to their own survey, which came out in 1999. And so I said, well, why... Why would anybody believe anything that somebody had to say when it comes to health and longevity whose average lifespan is only 56, according to their own survey? It didn't make sense to me. But in that book, it goes over kind of a little bit of a history of the medical profession and shows you where they've been tripped up by their, some of their own stuff. And then in the appendix, it, it shows you how to prevent and get rid of 400 and plus diseases. 
That's amazing. And this CD? It's kind of a short version of the book. It kind of is this a DVD or a CD? CD. CD. Sir. It's a CD, and uh, and you said millions have actually heard this. Well, more than that, because we've we've sold sold two hundred million of that CD there. Uh, there has been That's that amazing. many that many people. It, it, they figure that each CD is listened to by ten people. And you sold two hundred million of yes, this sir. one. It's in twelve languages. Well, listen, you can get both today for a gift of $40 to the ministry. Help me take the gospel around the world, and this year is going to be fabulous. Divine favor is yours this year, and make sure to call. And you can go on our website for more info on the doctor and other products that you have. And Doc, thanks for coming. This is really amazing. Would you do one thing for me while we have just Anything a few seconds? Would you stretch your hands and pray? You're a, you're a Christian man. Yes, sir. Pray that God will bring health to his people. Oh, Lord, we ask in your son's name, your precious son's name, Jesus, please, please get this message to every one of your believers and people who maybe are on the fence and they don't know whether to believe you or not. They need, they need help right now because they bet on the wrong horse. They've been failed. And so we know that the best healer, the, the best doctor ever is Jesus and we, we just love your son, and we want to thank you for getting the message out to your people. Thank Amen. you so much. Amen. Amen. Divine healing and divine health. I love it. Another great program tomorrow with another lady doctor. You're going to love it. This whole week, because you know what? I want to start the year with health, so you be healthy and live long in Jesus' mighty name. Sure love you. Bye-bye. Dr. Joel Wallach's groundbreaking studies over decades of research have revealed numerous facts and truths about your health which are radically different from what you have been led to believe by the medical community. These findings have been distributed worldwide through the material on this phenomenal CD. Dead doctors don't lie. With more than 200 million copies in circulation, recorded during Dr. Wallach's lectures, this CD touches on a wide range of subjects including aging, heart disease, cholesterol, arthritis, cancer, diabetes, Alzheimer's, and pregnancy. In all, Dr. Wallach addresses 25 topics and engages in question and answer sessions with the audience. And his book is a comprehensive expansion of the material on the CD with over 400 pages of information which can significantly impact your quality and length of life. You'll learn how to identify 90 essential nutrients, many of which are not available in food, prevent and reverse 412 diseases with vitamins, minerals, and herbs, reach your genetic potential for a long and happy life. Eliminate a major portion of costly medical expenses. Take responsibility for your health and much, much more. Dr. Wallach's Dead Doctors Don't Lie 400-page book and multi-million selling CD can both be yours today for a gift of $40. It's not too early or too late to gain the knowledge and tools you must have to rescue and revolutionize your health and that of your family and loved ones. Call or order online today.